Kitty bouncing Kitty bouncing Kitty bouncing Hey guys, it's me Elise. So I'm just going to go ahead and get right into this video. So I'm starting off with putting the wig on just to let you guys see exactly how I received it and to kind of further look at it to see everything that needs to be done. Now the only thing that I noticed was the lace being so white. So I will be taking care of that a little later. And I'm also going to bleach the knots because you know why not. But for the most part the hair looks pretty good. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. So I'm going to bleach my knots and I'm using my BW2 powder in my 20 volume developer. Everything that I'm using throughout this video will be left in the info section below. However, this wig does come from Eunice and you can find them on Amazon Prime. I'll have all the links, details and information left there. And if you're interested in this wig and you want to save a little extra cash, be sure to use my discount code, which is Eunice Wig. So the wig that I have is their Wear and Go Glueless Pre-Cut Lace Wig. It's in that deep curly texture and my wig has the six by four and a half inch high definition lace. My wig is also 16 inches long, 150% density. It has that new breathable cap. So therefore, if you're wearing this wig during the summertime, you don't have to worry about overheating or being too hot. And also this wig already comes pre-plucked, so absolutely no work needs to be done. It did, however, bleach my knots. Then you guys are gonna see me use a little bit of foundation in order to tone down the lace. However, it is not necessary. You don't have to do it at all. So as I'm letting the wig dry, I just kind of like to get like a little early start into kind of styling it just to where when I do put the wig on, it just kind of comes together immediately. No work needs to be done. Then I'm just right out the door. You guys don't pay too much attention where I over bleached my knots. I'm going to show you guys a little later on how I'm able to quickly fix that. Super easy. No need to worry or anything like that. Um, but for the most part, I am just styling up this wig. I don't have to tweeze it or pluck it or anything like that. You guys notice that beautiful pre-plucked hairline I just applied a little bit of my wrapping hair mousse and now I'm just gonna pull out some baby hairs and I'm gonna make that a little later on but in order to make the hairline look really nice and laid I'm just gonna use the provided elastic band to just kind of lay that up now I'm just using a little bit of water in my wet and wavy styling cream just to kind of redefine those curls to make them look real nice and juicy and make sure that they're nicely popping So I let the wig sit and air dry overnight. This is what it's looking like. Now I did develop a slight cast, but you can break that off just by rubbing your fingers through the hair. And you guys do notice that breathable cap. Don't forget about that. Here's the lace, it's still looking white. So I'm just taking my summer shade foundation and I'm just gonna apply that all over the lace just to where we can get a nice meltable color that looks pretty good. So now I'm gonna go ahead and get the wig on. So if you over bleached your knots or some of your bleach transferred onto your hair like mine did, what you want to do is get you some of this Kiss hair concealer and just apply it on the areas where you made your mistake. You notice that this stuff is really thick and so it kind of coats the hair and it makes it look as good as new. So there's really no need to panic or worry. I just went ahead and I took care of that. Now I'm using some of my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Powder in the shade Dark. And I'm just going to go ahead and apply that to the parting space. Kind of let that area pop a bit. Now I'm just going to go ahead and make me some baby hairs. But I'm 
optimistic that I can turn it all around, round, round. Baby, if you felt my pain, you know how strong I am. Make this shit look easy, swear it's hard to stand. I didn't make no time for falling. It was never in my plan. Examination, recall, rehaul, that's just who I am. Are you checking? Now one thing that I noticed with this particular wig is that it's lower in density and it does have like that breathable cap so I was able to kind of see some of the tracks showing through the very back of the wig. So what you're going to do is use like a white tooth comb or your fingertips and you're going to create some volume by kind of breaking apart some of those curls and you notice how thick and full the wig looks now. You don't notice any of the tracks showing in the back so definitely make sure that you're manipulating the hair in order to kind of create some volume but for the most part this is what this wig is looking like it's super lightweight super fluffy and if you do decide to wear this wig during the summertime you're not going to overheat you're not going to have like a heat stroke or anything like that super flowy i love the fact that you have access to your scalp so if you decide to glue this wig down for a few days you can definitely oil your scalp you have access to your scalp just in case you're itching i didn't have to use any adhesives or hairspray this wig is the quick ultimate way to easily apply your wig and then you're right out the door no time at all is needed for this particular wig and it is not going anywhere it's not budging yet <laughs> but you guys do check out Eunice they are available on Amazon Prime let me know what you guys think about this one and I'll talk to you guys on the next video bye guys